trying to find the answer to a question. And this man stopped me. He actually physically stopped me. He said, oh, you remind me of my wife. And I thought, oh, well, okay, that's good. Then he looked at me and he said, I hated my wife. <laughs> so that was exciting. <laughs> but there were other pivotal memories. And the one that I, that I really remember the most was this young man who called at the reference desk. And he was in big trouble with homework. He couldn't do his long division problems because his calculator had broken. No. And he didn't know how to do it for real, you know, with pencil and paper. Fortunately, he got the right person because I'm the only person left that could use pencil and paper because I wasn't good at computers. But that was an eye-opening experience. And I have to tell you that it was at that point that I realized how important it was to not only know about computers and different things, but to be self-sufficient in case you couldn't get your computer to work, which happened to me a lot. I know that there will be programs for all ages as there are now and all people in different situations. And it's so important, so important, that we serve those populations that, that don't get enough attention and maybe can't come into the library. So maybe we're going out more. I know we go out, out a lot now, but I can envision that. Nursing homes, oh yeah. Yes, there's so much. The people here are wonderful. And honestly, they have the kindest regards for the patrons. No matter what age, what condition, I've never seen such a caring group of people. And you know, it is important because things change and things get different and things get confused. And that, that tie to the public is the important thing. And hopefully everybody who comes into the library will get a yes in answer to their question, somebody will be able to help them. And every, every Goldilocks will find a chair that fits them. I think it's gonna be a Goldilocks zone for, for everybody. It's my hope.